Hello and welcome back to another devlog with the pinball game that we created last time now operational it's time to create all of the sort of instructions things that are tasks that you will have to complete and I already have them created here in my little uh, task planning software basically split into two parts tracking your progress through the different tasks that are gonna give you uh, different parts to draw so that they are slowly unlocking up and then all the instructions that go with it that are gonna guide you what you have to do at each step yeah so it's gonna be another one of these uh, a little bit uh, crazy sprints crazy uh, crazy lots of stuff to do although this time around I'm gonna keep a little bit more sustainable pace so I don't die from working super hard two months in a row um, so yeah we'll see you in a week well, eventually sometimes it happens this time I'm not the happiest I could be with how the sprint is going yeah I've only done the very basic architecture and barely got started on any of the real tutorials because sometimes life just happens and you have to put your time into other things rather than just work so that's what happened and it's basically as if the universe decided for me that we're not gonna do all of these complicated parts even for these parts, we're just gonna go with the minimum viable product. <laughs> like, what is the least complicated thing that'll still work? Yeah, I'm in the middle of fixing everything, so everything is just kind of broken. So, the ball doesn't appear here. Okay, let's see if it does now. Okay, the point here is the ball is a square. So, let's uh, fix this. So, I guess at least that probably, maybe, should be working. No, it doesn't. Projects don't appear here either. Oh boy, why don't the projects appear? Oh, but the goal hasn't started yet. That's why. Okay, let's cheat very quickly. So now if I've cheated all my way through correctly, yes, we finally get the pinball here. So we have the plunger, we have the ball. You don't really have to draw the plunger, but you can if you want. But the ball is the problematic one. <laughs> no. I need to cheat even more. <laughs> this not allow me to edit because I haven't demonstrated that I know how to. Oh, yep, that's life. Okay, finally. <laughs> now I think we can finally fix this ball into a sphere so that it's gonna start rolling down. Because if it's a, if it's a rectangle that makes it into a box, and there you go. Try out the new ball, return to the pinball machine, and see what happens. Unfortunately, now I still have to go into edit mode because otherwise it doesn't work. So edit mode and then go into play. There we go. And you can see now the ball is actually letting go. But now this doesn't work anymore. There you go. So this is what happens. We have a ball that actually rolls. However, the problem is, yeah, it gets stuck on the top. Uh, if you are very persistent, you can probably get it out. But yeah, the idea here is, okay, so we've done that. The game detects that you've hit all the way up uh, to the top or that you've gotten to the top part and there you go so it detected that and then it says hey change the play field add a curve up there so that the ball can go out so this time around see now we got the play field perfect so we can go up here into this corner oh this input manager is still going in the background okay so that's the also problem see i i just so many so many bugs let's do something ugly like this the curve is there and and then this still doesn't work <laughs> this is the worst update ever <laughs> and this time around now let's see when we plunge it out there we go the ball and we have also made it so that if there's nothing at the bottom here it just uh, yeah it just disappears and then you get a new ball and now we're gonna waste all our three balls and game over so now it detected yes you have tested it because the ball went out so the next thing to do is draw the gobble hole i really know that i will need to have better drawing tools because right now you only have let's say that you decide to change this and you want to be deleting like this oh boy that'll be painful oh and this doesn't even work correctly even my undoes are all of a sudden wrong oh my goodness this is the worst day ever. It's almost like anything that could go wrong went wrong and then also the things that shouldn't go wrong also went wrong. There we go. And now we score some points. So let's go back in and then also reload because I'm sure this won't work. 
And this time around, it'll also unlock edit mode for you because it's supposed to teach you, hey, you can actually drag stuff down. Right now it's just showing all the parts, but eventually it's gonna not show all the parts. So let's put this here. We could even change the points if we wanted to, but it's fine. So now we go into play mode and let's try and hit the gobble hole. <laughs> yeah, that was too, oh, too much, too much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I should just move it. <laughs> Did you know that you can just move stuff around? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think for physics reasons it, it, it actually, oh, but I thought, uh, no, for physics reasons I have to let it go. There you go. I am cheating all the way to hell today. I think you get the idea. I I need to go. I need to go to work. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy. I'll be happy if I can just get all of these instructions done for all of the parts and it works sort of okay without any bugs. Like I said, universe decided, and yeah, I'll see you in a week. <laughs> bye bye. Well, there's no easy way to say it, but <laughs> this print. It just did not go uh, as planned as you can imagine. So, uh, yep, look at this. It's, ah, uh, yeah. So there's even stuff on high priority that did not get done. And technically everything is playable. So we will jump into the game. You can make things happen, but without all the proper instructions for each one of the steps is just, yeah, it's not ready. I've done some play tests and it just did not go so well uh, so far so I do have this cool thing though look at that it's a little mini me over here in the little corner and when you go in and try to play the game look we got the field and we can't do anything and so my mini me will say oh no looks like the ball is a cube change it to a sphere in the drawing app so it will roll so there will be a lot of these kind of instructions both here and when you then actually get to so if completed that I have the draw ball so you could technically just follow all of the instructions here and you should be able to do all of the necessary things but I didn't have time to actually put in instructions also when you come here there should be instructions coming from the bottom so those are all of the missing things that are just did not make it into the game unfortunately and what we will do is yeah, we'll just continue without it. I want to make sure that everything is prepared for the for the launch of early access. And right now, the next important part is that I make sure that people can claim their Steam keys. So I will go on and continue with all of the other preparations I have to do for the launch of the game and then we'll see what date it is when everything is ready to for release because if we are if we have a bunch of time ready for uh, before we have to do the release well then at that point I can come in and complete all of these lessons that I haven't had time to do until then here we have just this little body here <laughs> following my cursor and uh, I did add one uh, neat feature though because it's really annoying let's say that I want to draw a smaller hole here and now I have to uh, remove all of this rest of the stuff I did add into the tutorial so on line width that you can use the bracket keys to actually change the the size of the so technically you could even do this you could completely delete it then just increase this as a big hole um, place it down and then decrease it by two it's actually a cool cheating there you go and you've just created a little sphere hole here we go we can place some gobble holes down and let's see if we can and then we go file play let's see if we can score at least one Boop. no oh yeah I did add also this one thing there we go I did add this one thing which is uh, if you just click on settings on the play field you can add more balls in goes all the way up to 10 yeah these things keep on going there's a little bit non-linearity here as well we can add pins either through the play field or through the editor it's fun if you know what you're supposed to do uh, it's a little bit uh, less fun <laughs> if you don't really know what to do because you've i haven't told you oh yes we got that one too beautiful well that's going to be it for oh wow okay 
sometimes because there's too many balls the physics engine starts simulating too much i don't know we're gonna have to optimize yeah i like everything in in this sprint uh, <laughs> more work will be required but thank you for coming along for the ride there's gonna be a little bit of a pause with the devlog now that i'm just gonna be updating stuff on the server so not so interesting stuff but i'll let you know as soon as everything is ready you'll get another update here oh uh, yeah and see which of the remaining features we can squeeze in before the early access launch thank you very much give me a thumbs up if you still want to support this project after these uh, failures um, but yeah that's that's going to be it thank you so much and have a good time bye bye